a very good evening everyone today we uh, welcome to today's guest lecture segment of kaleidoscope footprints as we all know that different invention of science and technology have made our everyday life simple and stress free also the growth in science and technology helps in growth of growth of the country so today i introduce to our guest lecture abila shreddy sir who is technical acquisition specialist at pravik dynamics pravik dynamics is a bangalore based startup it is the first attempt by an indian firm to make luxurious electrical vehicles it is well known by its launch of extension mk11 now i will hand over to abilash reddy sir to continue the guest lecture hello 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 sir yes sir hey hi uh, hi everyone very good evening uh, it's a pleasure you know talking to you with you guys um, it's a it's a great effort from a gallery scope i've just been excited all these days you know just the day has come hello yes sir am i am i audible yes sir yes sir you are audible yeah. yeah so uh, there is some glitch in uh, my uh, starting of the video camera so i'm uh, really sorry for that so uh, just uh, sorry uh, uh, my nose is on line so okay if you just let me know when it's ready though so i can share the screen so you can start now no okay Oh yes. Oh, uh, hi all. Yes, sir. Good evening. Oh uh, yes. Oh, uh, it's a uh, Pravek. Ah, uh, uh, greetings from Pravek Dynamics to everyone. Ah, uh, just you know. Ah, uh, let's. I just uh, wanted to discuss more on the sustainable mobility. So before going to that, so what 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 exactly is the sustainable mobility? Ah, uh, in terms of you know economy. I mean, it's it's a broad subject. You you wanted to know. Uh, in terms of transport, that is sustainable in the sense of uh, social, uh, environmental, and uh, climate aspects. So, so how how uh, before going to the complete subject, let's uh, discuss more into the uh, where exactly we stand in terms of you know automotive industries and the per capita of uh, 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 gasoline vehicles as well as uh, you know uh, electric vehicles. So, if you see uh, as for the statistics, like India is. Uh, Car penetration is just twenty-two of uh, every uh, hundred people. So whereas uh, compared to uh, US, uh, where it stands ninety and nine eighty and uh, UK eight fifty. Uh, so when you compare to carbon dioxide emissions per capita in India is around one point seven metric tons today, uh, compared to six point five metric tons uh, in a country uh, like the US and uh, uh, according to the World Bank. So CO2 uh, emissions cannot be sustained. Uh, uh, for example, if you, if our car penetration in India reaches somewhere close to US or you know uh, UK numbers, so uh, our country is you know uh, it, it's leading. Like Indian economy is uh, urbanizing rapidly. So I think by 2030, India will have seven mega cities with um, population more than uh, or seven million or so. um uh, over the last 5 years if uh, just uh, have a look like shared mobility has grown uh, exponentially um in, in india increasing uh, urbanization as seen as increase in corporate commute uh, and despite the presence of you know cal hailing aggregators majority of indians opt for public transport uh, thus thus creating a huge demand uh, uh, for the last uh, last and first mile commute uh job we we believe uh your electric vehicles will, will play a key key role in uh, decarbonizing uh in most of the indian cities thus the providing uh, clean mobility solutions uh so when when we uh, to achieve a cleaner transport sector a uh, combination of measures needs to be uh, implemented or uh, 
uh, planned and better design cities, non motorized transport facilities, uh, more public transport, and uh, for like on road fleets being converted to all electric. So, uh, I think as, as a Praveg, uh, uh, we've been working like you know, different tools where uh, uh, we've like worked on it sustainable mobility. So we we wanted to enter into the fleet service when it comes to electric vehicles. So this you can see the prototype what we have done and we have seen our work and everything. So when when how, how electric vehicles are playing major role on uh, sustainable mobility. So when you look back, let's uh, just uh, dwell into um, so past like focus on uh, back on electric vehicles. Electric vehicles are not new. Uh, to the new industry or present. Uh, they were there from uh, like most of the centuries, I think 1800s, like uh, when uh, uh, Belgian race car drivers, as well as, you know, inventors in the 1800s, like uh, Robert Anderson in Britain credited with the developing the first electric carriage in 1832. Uh, when uh, Belgian racer, where you drive uh, you drove faster than 100 kilometers in one of the large Amazon's countries in electric vehicle uh, developed by you. Uh, it's, it's an electric taxi is involved in the first fatality device motor uh, vehicle fatality in uh, Iraq. And it's somewhere in uh, 1899, uh, so I'm not uh, sure of the month and the date. But automakers, uh, after 1899, uh, close to uh, 1890, after the uh, 1900 automakers market EV to women. Uh, you know, it's it's easier to drive. It's uh, no quieter and uh, it's but it's very easy to operate than gasoline models. So it's it's like uh, sniffing. It's like uh, sniffing them of the fancy of holistry. Uh, you know, it's uh, so Henry Ford. Yeah, when if you go uh, in the same 1800s or 1830s or 40s, you want know, Henry Ford and uh, uh, Thomas Edison work on the cheap and practicable electric uh, automobile uh, that will run 100 miles. That, that's really like uh, so super. But during those times, 100 miles is not a you know, small thing to uh, achieve. But uh, they eventually abandoned the project uh, um, due to different uh, no, uh, um, conditions. Uh, uh, we are not sure what exactly the cause was to abandon the electric vehicles. Uh, Excuse me, sir. Yeah. So sorry for interruption, but actually your screen is not visible. Okay, that's just uh, fine. Just I think some good. Now, yeah. So yes, sir. Yeah. So uh, later, the popularity of EV declines uh, uh, most uh, because the Ford mass-produced uh, model or uh, um, other gasoline fuel vehicles. In, uh, later 1950s, so like uh, in 1959 uh, and so later than uh, National uh, Union Electric Corp uh, like modifies 100 and more than Renault uh, vehicles to run on batteries. Uh, the new versions uh, may be called as Hennig uh, kilowatts. Other companies start making concept models. So it's it's been there in the market EV industry. So. Uh, but uh, I think the uh, first uh, tricycle uh, was developed by uh, uh, Gustave Tuave, uh, he's a French uh, electronics engineer. Uh, then, when it's a uh, Praveg, we wanted to know uh, what was special about Praveg. So, it's a homegrown brand. So, we wanted to enter um, into fleet service. Uh, no, uh, but the concept is quite different, where point. Uh, uh, moving point A to point B or to the coming to the last mile. Um, so, so, uh, so the best way, the best way to move in our city. So probably provides, you know, our best platform to move in a city or uh, uh, losing time or for, you know, um, it, it, it's a sort of health, you know, exhausting series for when you compare 2000s uh, to, travel less than 20 kilometers a day, we used to spend 30 minutes, but now it's increasing, uh, you know, urbanization, as I said, um, so the increasing corporate commute, despite the presence, you know, of all the uh, cab failings and other things, we, the traffic has increased rapidly. 
uh, where we used to spend 45 minutes, uh, 45 to you know more than one hour to travel uh, less than 30 kilometers. Even the emission, like uh, CO2 emissions, is like you know uh, very high now. So it's it's none or never. So we need to know uh, transit to the electric vehicles in our future. No, um, so what what's uh, special only when we have uh, there are other brands in the industry when it compares to Pravig. Uh, why only we provide a fleet service and uh, we, we, we believe uh, no, uh, in uh, regain, regaining time with spent on you know, traffic and healthier lifestyle and reducing carbon dioxide and personalized services. We, we provide a fleet service for the uh, customers with uh, experiences and everything put together. It's, it's a package, I can say. Uh, so it's one a vehicle or uh, it's a ownership of the vehicle is increasing in India compared to other countries where other countries have already most of the developed countries have reached uh, the point of uh, you know, uh, owners and they slowly transitioning into the uh, shared community, shared commuter, you know, um, fleet service. Uh, this is, but in India, it's uh, quite different as it's developing. We are slowly uh, moving into one a vehicle. So I think it's so. Uh, there, there's a, a slight, uh, no, uh, nowadays in the industry is moving towards the fleet service, even in uh, India and other countries. So when it compares to uh, owning a car, there are three major, a uh, couple of reasons why owning a car is uh, not only expensive, uh, but so owning a, uh, it's people think that freedom uh, because you own a car is an, uh, is an illusion. So up until recently, most uh, no Australians even viewed owning a car as having freedom. But this depends on your know, uh, definition of freedom. Uh, for most of people, freedom is the ability to choose a vehicle, uh, pay for it, and you know show off uh, to friends or society. Whatever the question uh, uh, lies here, asking is why? Why would you own a car that costs uh, off of your salary? Mm, only to spend 96% of its lifetime sitting outside your house. Uh, like owning a car is really, really expensive. Like uh, it is more economical to rent a car by the car and to have the choice uh, of the car that will suit your purpose. Um, th this is not the same as uh, no, renting a house or by uh, or because you are just there in the evenings and weekends. So the cost of owning a car is pretty high. It will include such costs as purchase price, big position, fuel tools, and uh, fines for R&D, refrigerants, and many more. Of course, uh, the cost of owning a car like a home can be high. Uh, it includes for purchase price, uh, depreciation, luxury car tax, or uh, import tariff, or tolls, and even fines for road uh, infringements. And then, then you have to find somewhere to put it. Uh, many new apartment blocks do not have uh, designed parkings, but there, there are many challenges. Uh, uh, even owning a car where it spends most of its time in uh, 96% or 94% it's, you know, uh, is idle in a garage or in a parking lot. Uh, even millennials like uh, the niche people don't want to be you know, tied down. Uh, most of the millions, you know, uh, millennials lives in uh, large cities. Uh, where there's heavy traffic, parking is expensive, and the hassle of owning a car is, is simply not worth it. Uh, millennials want to work close to where we live and you know, ends the heavy reliance on uh, ride sharing. Uh, the, the group of people are uh, not really interest, interested in owning anything that you know ties them down. It's, uh, um, having said that, uh, it, it's true. It's uh, very true that owning a car has traditionally been status symbol in India. Um, also, it guarantees the advantage of uh, flexibility, as you can use it any time of the day and uh, for however long you want to, however you want to go. Um, you don't need a call, uh, book and wait for the vehicle to arrive. But it, it is still depreciating asset. Uh, buying a car means uh, paying an EMI and down payment. Imagine you own a car, but you you drive it only uh, 150 to 200 days in a year. Uh, However, you, you have to pay for all the 365 days. Uh, on the other hand, uh, once uh, you, know, you rent out a car and use it only for 20 days uh, with three to four hours per day, uh, you won't pay for that uh, much uh, who you are using it. The future is self-driving. Um, so the, you imagine the ro ro robot access even you know, take place. Maybe in India, it's you know, 
uh, it might take few years, but the whole world, uh, most of the you know, countries in the world are leaving the future already. Um, so self -serve according to reports, you know, by 2030, 90% uh, are less, somewhere close to that world population will not even uh, own a vehicle. Uh, instead, they will uh, rely on autonomously driven vehicles, fleets owned by big companies such as, uh, they're like Uber or whatever it is. Any many companies are working towards it, even the Tesla. Mm, so self-driving cars are driven by commuters and are safer than compared to human drivers. Uh, since 90% of road fatalities are caused by human error, there's all the likelihood the governments will uh, ban human driving on the roads in the future, most probably, uh, but hope so or not. Uh, but there are, there are uh, considering all the facts, like the warning a vehicle, or maybe um, as a tech, just uh, That's how, how we do it. Uh, also, there, there, are, there are a few challenges when it comes to you know, uh, EV markets, uh, electric vehicles in India, uh, like infrastructure um, and charging time. And you know, there are a lot of things like the most talked about point related to EVs uh, is the infrastructure, uh, like support provided by the country for them to be convenient. This mainly leads us to the charging points that are to be very essential uh, for EVs. Right now, electric vehicles particularly cannot be used on highways as there are no charging points across highways or uh, any place. It's it's uh, it's just booming now. Maybe uh, even many startups are working towards uh, charging uh, charging infrastructures. Uh, not only from the you know, it's it's India is slowly and you know. Uh, uh, not so it's moving towards you uh, know uh, EV market. Uh, so that that's how uh, you know Pravek started like uh, almost eleven years back. Um, uh, we were most of the time we were into stealth mode, so we launched our product in the last year, two thousand twenty, and uh, in, in month of uh, November and December. So what what exactly Pravek was doing all these days? Like we were working on the different you know technologies where. Uh, tools to make the uh, uh, no sustainable sustainable mobility. So what what exactly uh, Praveg uh, in terms of fleet service? No, oh, that's that's what I said. Owning a vehicle, it's not uh, uh, co not only with the you know uh, cost effective. Uh, owning a car is expensive, and you know there are other uh, parameters included. Uh, everything so. So that's how we went to the fleet service we wanted to do. Even the rentals or lease is not uh, started in uh, 2021 or 2000s or way back in even 90s uh, because of the tightening emission rules uh, caused auto farms to focus increasingly in alternative fuel vehicles. Uh, so most, I think uh, 1997 or uh, so, according to market study, even General Motors introduced EV1, uh, making more than 1,000 of the two seaters uh, leasing them to the customers. Uh, it, it's a market study, and the way Tesla takes a leap, uh, not takes a leap, like launches the Roadster, uh, sports car, uh, the first production EV, I think so, to use uh, lithium-ion battery cells uh, in 2008. Uh, this even when it comes to the battery life cycle. So India is, you know, uh, it's, it's it's doing way better compared to the few years back, and. Um, there, there's a lot of improvement in the you know, R&D sector uh, as well as in you know, uh, four-wheeler, two-wheeler, and three-wheeler. So in three-wheelers, I think uh, it's a northern part of India. It's uh, doing way better than uh, you know, uh, other places. Like uh, three-wheeler sector, India is the you know, highest sales recorded uh, in the world. Um, so that's how slowly uh, India is more transitioning into the electric vehicles. Uh, so the future is electric, so sustainability. Uh, so we, we provide... Uh, uh, so when it comes to safety, yes, uh, Praveg provides NK of five star rating because we are sitting on a uh, uh, controlled uh, time bomb, I can say. So the, this is very powerful. The ion shows are very powerful. So you can, uh, one of our video we have done uh, uh, experimental video, like how the you know, explosion happens. So you can check it out in our website. You can uh, videos uh, to where we launched uh, a product. and. That's how the Pravek comes with the highest standard of safety. Safety is also a major concern for us. Like that's how Pravek comes with the NK of five star safety, and it comes to comfort. As as I think uh, 
um so as i said uh, there are almost more than 1.3 uh, or 4 4 billion uh, vehicles in the world uh, most of them are uh, gasoline uh, when you compare the distance between earth and moon like it's 33,84,400 kilometers so when put together all the vehicles you no know, bumper to bumper i think you can reach the moon um so no you even you can come back like one one fourth of the distance so it's a, there is a there is a immediate uh, you know um uh action to be taken to you know what the world has to move to the you no know, evs uh either it's you no know, shared or you know fleet service or uh, personal vehicles or anything so to to avoid the you know greenhouse uh, harming gases so and also there are many challenges when it comes to uh, you know uh, range of the vehicles and uh, battery life cycles the battery on the electric car is a uh, proven technology that will last for many years uh, but in fact uh, even manufacturers guarantee it the electric car batteries will last uh, eight years or 1 lakh miles uh, for example uh, even in the major uh, car manufacturers like tesla or even they guarantee the same uh when it comes to replacing there's a one more challenge in uh, you know electric vehicle battery but uh, no the research and everything is going on uh major most of the companies are working towards it uh, uh you know you need to be or you need not to be concerned as many uh, manufacturers provide a, a warranty of uh, up to 8 years or you know 1 lakh miles so uh, meaning that even if you did not replace it unfortunately even that something did go wrong Uh, then then it could be well covered under this warranty so remember uh, to always check the type of warranty offered by your chosen uh, electric car manufacturer uh, and your manufacturer uh, many manufacturers are researching on how ev batteries uh, can be uh, repurposed once uh, they have it determined um, it's like of 8 years are given 1 uh, lakh miles uh one one idea that's uh, proving to work well is uh, repurposing ev batteries to power homes uh buildings however there are uh, uh, no definite uh, answers as to what will happen to ev batteries once they are in uh, no larger uh, recycle uh, the, the the time that batteries spend uh, in an ev is uh, often just the beginning of their uh, useful life uh once removed from a car most batteries will still be fit for other demanding jobs like uh energy storage in the electricity network or in home a grown uh, area of demand uh when batteries do reach uh, the end of work uh, working life uh, they will be recycled uh, which typically involves is separating out uh, uh, valuable materials such as cobalt lithium salts stainless steel uh, aluminum or even the plastic at the moment only Uh, about half of the materials in EV are uh, battery pack or recycle, uh, but 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 with EV is expected to undergo an explosion in popularity over the next decade or so. Uh, car manufacturers are looking to improve this. Uh, so, however, uh, battery life is uh, considered. Uh, the battery life cycle management works uh, towards solving expensive and toxic disposal of the. um batteries as well as being used to support the use of you know renewable energy ev batteries can be refurbished uh, to help uh, the more power vehicles in the future also so where praveg uh, we provide the best in the range like we we're still doing like what as of now what uh, uh, we have done like 400 kilometers of range in a single charge the uh, the vehicle can be charged in 30 minutes so you know, the 300 kilometers range you can know how reach and it's a pretty high efficiency uh, vehicle um it reaches uh, very fast like 5.4 seconds you know um, uh, to reach 100 and uh, so on and then i want top speed of 196 kilometers so travel so offers like you know um, best way to move where it, it will be the main sole purpose of uh, the motto of travel is a take back control take back control of uh, your time spent on the traffic no one wants to spend uh, uh hours together in the traffic as the traffic has uh, reached uh, uh peaks of you know major cities in like take delhi or bangalore you know the pollution level has increased so uh we provide the free service uh, into uh commuters or you no know, corporates or clients whoever it is like the best way the best way to move in city is the private might be uh 
the one of the best way to move in city so when when and also when it comes to uh, electric vehicles i think uh, uh, data data security i think uh, i just wanted to have a uh, brief discussion on data security as it involves uh, you know uh, today uh, like connectivity is the core of every product uh, so where praveg is working on you know uh, on working not only on the technology we drive or you know the vehicle it's, it's more uh, important to know uh, uh, to have the data security so today every connectivity uh, connectivity is at the core of every product uh, including cars uh, increasingly cars are getting connected to smartphones um, that allows uh, the user to do more more with their cars even when they are not around them so as as with uh, any other technology that i can say it's a steady growth or it's a mushrooming growth will lead to an uh, you know Think, think, think. If you think this is something to worry about in the future, like data breaching or you know data security, uh, let me let me tell you a st- uh, small instance which happened years back. Uh, that that we have already you know uh, have a series of cyber attacks in connected cars in the last two years. Uh, for example, it's a major. Uh, uh, I think Tesla, uh, a group of certain uh, particular country, uh, I mean security researchers were able to hack uh, Tesla Model X. uh i think so it's second time you know second or twice or thrice or uh, the effect of the hack is that they found a way to uh turn on brakes uh, remotely uh, and uh, getting the doors uh, uh, trying to open and close while uh, blinking the lights in time of the music stream from the car's radio it's it's very crucial like you know so, uh, it's like an effect they dubbed also they, they have given the name for that like the unauthorized act must show Uh, this was complex hack uh, through which they were able to remotely control the car via both wifi uh, and a cellular connection well well uh, the good part uh, of this scary story like uh, the tesla successfully patched on uh, it's within a week so i think uh, uh, yeah couple of weeks uh, it's being uh, reported as well as been patched so there are key parameters i think so even the probab is uh, no uh doing into that so to have a uh, decentralized you know is security towards uh, data breach and uh, that's what we have been working also uh, it's like we even not only provide so most of the evs now it's connected uh, through most of uh, not like ic engines like it's connected to most of electronic products and you know uh, wifi and the latest technologies like it's been updated like like just like uh, smartphones uh so to avoid this uh, there are few things to be considered like uh, awareness and uh, you know proactive attitude uh, disaster management uh, management i think one of the top uh, manuf- even manufacturer uh, as uh, can can give example as a tesla itself like uh, no they have done the best thing regarding that so as a praveg uh, it's it's like the uh, awareness the most uh, important care Tactics for any business to be able to win uh, against the hackers is to be uh, aware of what could be the possibility. Uh, most businesses are not even aware of their uh, vulnerabilities. Like uh, u- using some standard of uh, security practices uh, during the development stages can uh, empower team to be aware of the possible uh, loopholes and uh, can figure it out uh, ways to either patch them or uh, quickly make difficult to break in. so uh, and one more uh, thing is like uh, proactive uh, attitude uh, the second key characteristics of uh, you know any winner is a proactive attitude uh, tesla has reportedly uh, uh, issued statements that they will always uh, reward hackers who report uh, security vulnerabilities in their car accepting your weakness and having a proactive attitude towards uh, you know resolving it can only be seen in those who think long term or want to win they also uh, launch a bug bounty program that to our hackers based on the issue they it's just one possible way of doing a uh, proactive attitude and one of the most important thing is the disaster management so when it comes to ev uh, let's face it there's, there's no such thing else you know uh, everything is fully secure uh, it is a constant race of you know uh, uh, uh can say cat and mouse uh, between the hackers and the security expert uh thinking what you are not vulnerable is the worst mistake to make 
the second big mistake to make is to believe that having a few security systems make you fully secure. Uh, it, it, it is uh, necessary to have disaster management uh, you know, uh, to define what would be action plan in case of you know, uh, security breach. That helps everyone uh, be prepared uh, for a worst, uh, worst case scenario. So when, when Praveg, uh, yes, Praveg, in comes of uh, data security as well as you know, mm, the sustainable mobility, what way exactly the Praveg is doing. Uh, so the the two best best way to move in a city. So just just uh, yeah. So I think uh, provide some more is you know, uh, that's what we do here is the best way to you know, move in a city. So we provide compelling platform uh, for the sustainable mobility. You know, sustainable mobility is in terms of you know uh, economy as well as uh, as ecosystem everything. So we 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 make premium EVs as I said in the beginning. So we planning to operate uh, in Bangalore and Delhi. Uh, uh, so by end of this year, uh, hopefully if everything goes as planned, um, 2,500 vehicles to be deployed in Bangalore and Delhi. So we'll be operating as a fleet service management. Um, so that that's uh, that's what yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for uh, your speech. Sir, now some students have some questions from your PPD, so they want to ask, like, can mm -hmm. we have 10 minutes yeah, session? Yeah, with yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, sir, uh, one student has asked that, what are the main challenges that engineers face in design of an EV vehicles? Yeah, uh, when, when we started, we started a little from scratch. Uh, we are back then, 2011, like, uh, there were no major, uh, you know, uh, there, there was uh, potential uh, electric vehicles were not there in India, even uh, only one, only vehicle um, we started in India, like uh, not we, like uh, there was a vehicle, uh, everyone might be uh, you know, aware of uh, Mahindra Reva. It, it yeah. is very, uh, you know, it's very small and there's the only vehicle they were doing, like most of the vehicles were uh, doing R and D, everything betterment of you know gasoline vehicles. So, so we started from the design aspect. So we we have done uh, multiple prototypes. I think Fighters Prog is the sixth one. Um, so in terms of design as well as uh, mechanical aesthetics, the design aesthetics, and we tried. Uh, we we keep on developing the you know our tools for uh, uh, better betterment of the you know next vehicle. So we've tested uh, in the you no know, harsh conditions like. From it comes to suspension as well as you know everything, uh, so we worked uh, like almost like eight to nine years into that. Mm, we have done enough uh, you know, R and D still. Yeah, there will be you know constant uh, you know, uh, change is the only constant as I can say. Uh, okay, uh, so the next question is: What are like Pravik's plan for producing locally of this car? Like this car is 90% uh, yeah this car is 90% uh, like uh, made indigenous only few uh, things can be imported as india does not have any uh, no battery production or battery manufacturing industries as of now so it's completely made in india 90% would be indigenous no sir means uh, when will be the car launched locally for like all over india for all the citizens of india like yeah. it is yeah, as of now, uh, as of now, we have no, uh, no, we don't have much plans uh, for the personal vehicles. So that the sole purpose of, uh, uh, no, for the sustainable mobility, uh, no, we wanted to do is uh, not owning a vehicle. Uh, that's what I said, owning a vehicle. What the uh, main problems related to the owning a vehicle. So the sole purpose of the project, uh, we want cleaner and you know more sustainable mobility. So as of now, we don't have maybe. Uh, we are not sure. I cannot uh, know uh, reality on that and the personal vehicles, but it's obviously into the fleet service. We are launching this year. Uh, so um, one one more is there that what are the like main advantage an EV vehicle face other from like normal vehicles, like petrol vehicles? Most of the things uh, when it comes to uh, gasoline vehicles, the main concern is the uh, CO2. I can say one one of the you uh, know. Uh, uh, greenhouse uh, harming gases, it's raising uh, uh, 
uh, gasoline vehicles and also the complexity of uh, you know uh, the vehicle which it comes to uh, the servicing or uh, the um, in, the engine and the, the, there are different many parameters when it compares to the you no know, uh, gasoline and of course even the evs have uh, most complex technologies to be implemented in that but uh, evs it is can't with more towards the society greener and you know uh, more sustainable uh, mobility compared to gasoline okay, sir. and uh, so someone like this question has repeated many times that like it will control the uh, emission of co2 but how it will control the traffic like traffic is too much on the roads so of that, india that, that's the uh, that, that's the sole purpose of Pravek. like we wanted to into the fleet service so we owning a vehicle or you know we will be into the fleet management so so that's how it reduces the you know owning a vehicle also like uh, as i said uh, uh, it, it's it's shared mobility has grown exponentially in india uh, as i said it's because of urbanization like increase in corporate commute uh, india is slowly uh, moving uh, you know towards uh, um, the, the fleet service or you know sharing sharing uh, you know uh, transportation so you you will witness this uh, you know even the traffic that that's how that's the sole purpose of you no know, fleet management okay sir uh, so the last one like what should student uh, as uh, they saw your position uh, technical acquisition so they were asking like what should a student focus on more for like production of more ev vehicles in india like yeah yeah so uh, in terms of uh, i think you can witness uh, uh, i think in india uh, there are too many startups i mean even compared to two wheeler yet uh, also well it uh, you know uh, uh, so there that's uh, slowly it's not slowly i can say this uh, amir transition to the electric vehicle as a students um so the, as a technology or oh, it's not only uh, you know into electric vehicles it, it involves the data like the big data data security everything so as a students the even the colleges are you uh, know uh, doing uh, ev projects i guess so uh, not only uh, there was a long back like they were doing only gasoline you know uh, projects with the go kart whatever the racing competitions but most of the colleges are doing evs so i think colleges the college is the best place where you know uh students start exploring it's like r and it's like a startup uh, that's how we do uh, that's how we have done uh, we we have started from scratch how is the students also know we, even we provide best you know platform for the students also um i think i've already uh, conveyed this to a team like if someone is really you know it just has a passion to uh, work in the ev or uh, industry and they wanted to you know uh, so work more into that so we are, we are free or uh, like we are open to uh, provide a platform for the students also in terms of internship as well as the full time like that's how we want someone to grow with us also okay okay sir thank you sir we were your pre Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Your voice was breaking. Sorry for that. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much. Thanks for you uh, know, uh, for giving an opportunity to know uh, to discuss uh, about the Praveg as a sustainable mobility. I think uh, we will be sharing uh, more details with you in case of uh, for the talent hiring. Uh, we we hope to see you uh, guys. Yeah, thank you, sure. So surely we'll convey this message. Yeah, sure. Definitely. thank you everyone for your presence uh, now we will end the meeting see you in the next webinar thank you thank you bhakti thanks for thank everyone you. yeah